name is Christopher Cole Gaming, and welcome to JMR Recap. We're looking at extreme funnels. The most extreme funneling you've ever seen. Basically, just two marbles go head to head, go in the opposite direction of the funnel. Last one standing wins. Going into the event, the constrictors want to hang on to their one point lead. Purple Rockets wanted to stop the constrictors from holding on to that one point lead. Blackjacks wanted to do well after their fairly underwhelming event, too. And Pinkies wanted to continue their motion up the standings. And yeah, so let's get into the actual event. The first round of the knockout bracket saw the Pinkies and Shining Swarm go against each other, which something well known at this point is that the Pinkies bled in with white, so it's kind of hard to tell. But we do know that the Shining Swarm won because, well, if you forgot, it's last one standing in the final wins. So yeah, Shining Swarm beat the Pinkies. So the Pinkies were not continuing their momentum up the standings. Our next showing saw the Noxious Ivy and the Blackjacks go at it against each other. And even though it was looking really good for the Blackjacks at the start, it all fell apart last second with a last second collision with Noxious Ivy. And that ruined the whole thing. And that sent them in, meaning they would not... They would actually do even worse than last of it. Our next matchup saw the Purple Rockets and Balls of Chaos going at it. And although it was looking good, it ended up being the Balls of Chaos that would lose. And it ended up being a win for the Purple Rockets. The Balls of Chaos really suffering in their own tournament, now only sitting at 4 points with another dead last finish. It was a fairly quick matchup between the Strixes and the Constrictors with a lot of collisions. But it was the Strixes who came away with the win out timing the constrictors by a fair amount after they had fallen in because well they had stopped colliding every like two seconds after the halftime show we saw the first semi-final round of the shining swarm and purple rockets where they circled around for a bit but it ended up being the shining swarm who would move on after they knocked the purple rockets uh well actually the purple rockets hit them but then they hit them but then the shining swarm hit the purple rockets off the collision and the Purple Rockets fell at first, so the Shining Swarm moved on. The matchup between the Strixes and Noxious Ivy was another decently short matchup, with, and yeah, it really only saw one major collision throughout the whole thing, but the Strixes were the team that won this one, and it was with a shove to, to Noxious Ivy, pushing them down the hole, but yeah, Strixes move on. In the bronze medal match, Noxious Ivy proved you don't need to actually hit the other opponent to win. All you gotta do, just outlast them. That's what they did. They just never hit the Purple Rockets for the entire thing. And they claimed bronze, but now it was time for the final matchup to take place. The final matchup saw the Shining Swarm and Strixes go at it. Shining Swarm hit the Strixes, and it's looking pretty good for them. And they actually end up hitting the Strixes again, but it ends up pivotal for them as that actually makes them fall in and the Strixes hang on for gold, Shining Swarm, silver. This event was the first medal for all three teams on the podium, so they were all pretty happy about that. After this, the Purple Rockets jumped to the lead by two points, Strixes jumped to third, Blackjacks fall to fourth, Pinkies falling down to sixth, and it's just not really looking good for them. Balls of Chaos still in last with four points, not just Ivy stay in seventh. Anyways, thanks for watching JMR Recap, and I'll see you next time.